This morning, before I start vlogging, I'm gonna go film a YouTube review video. Okay, so this is basically like an abandoned lot area, really close to my apartment. There's no one around here. I'm gonna go ahead, put the drone up with the different ND filters, talk about it a little bit, bring it down. There's no one around. I'm trying to keep it safe. Super successful filming mission. Gonna go ahead and put together this review of the Skyrate RC uh, filters for the DJI Mavic Pro. Hopefully get it up today. On my way to go swimming. I'm gonna stop at a co-working spot along the way. Water. Water. Yeah. Water. Right down. Water. Huh? Water. Okay. Notice a trend. Days that I don't drink at least two if not three of these size water containers, I feel like complete garbage before the end of the day. I've been trying to monitor how often I go to the bathroom, give myself a key for dehydration and stuff, but I feel like I'm never not drinking a ton of water. Water, drip, water, splash, water. I just because Chiang Mai is kind of like a college town, there's all of these like kind of reformed coffee shops, which are kind of co-working spaces. Some of, are, some of them are open 24 hours a day, like camp. Um, some of them aren't. This one, I guess, is like a, a beta test. It's called uh, Wake Up. And uh, they've got like smoothies, a little bit more kind of like fruity, more refreshing stuff as opposed to camp, which is more just like kind of unhealthy snack. So I'm gonna go ahead, work on that DJI Mavic Pro Skyrate RC uh, ND filter review. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a tour of what a co-working space or something like a co-working space in Chiang Mai um, would look like, what it would be like. This is called Wake Up. It's like a brand new one. I guess they're kind of in the initial testing phases, so it's not fully done. It's not fully open yet. I'm going to go ahead, give you guys a quick tour. coffee shop but there's lots of outlets and there's a big emphasis on getting work done and being productive here and I love them they're all over the city and this one in particular I like a lot because it's not super crowded yet and I'll link them in the description below Where are you from? Los Angeles oh, you go. Yeah. so it's not every day that you find a tuk-tuk driver that can speak any English at all when you do they're usually happy to practice uh, can you teach me one word in Thai yeah. apparently from uh, what I've been informed the Thai word for mustache is nuan, or nuan. I'm gonna have to ask other Thai people I know about what that means because, or if that actually does mean mustache, but nuan, nuan. It's my third Thai word. Thank you, I'm sorry, mustache. So after sticking inside for a couple hours today and editing, um, I decided to come to Eco Resort uh, with a friend of mine and test out the new GoPro dome I had. Haven't used it yet and I really want to get a better hang of filming with the dome and being able to get those split shots before I go to the islands and start uh, like snorkeling and stuff like that simply because I just want to know how to use that gear before the, uh, before the occasion comes up. So I'm going to roll some cool b-roll that I shot with that and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Just leaving the pool at Econo Resort right now. Gotta go get some food, and then I really want to finish that little GoPro thingy I did. Hopefully that turned out uh, as I was expecting. Um, it's kind of like my first time using it, and there's kind of a learning curve, or more of a learning curve than I was expected, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I just finished up a pretty lovely meal at Tidin. Um, I think I'm getting dehydrated again, so I didn't really vlog anything of the food, but. I would definitely suggest Tid In. It's much more reasonably priced than a lot of the other places that are right along the water. Um, it's also like a bar and they had like a little area for live music and a, uh, a rooftop. Um, that would probably be pretty cool at night. no intention 
of coming to another temple today. I was walking down around the old city and I just so happened to see uh, Wat Chang Yuan. Now a little bit of history about Wat Chang Yuan. It was originally constructed in the 1500s. Um, so it's not the oldest Buddhist temple here, but it is one of the older ones. And actually during the Burmese rule, it was abandoned and it was reconstructed later um, in the late 1700s, early 1800s uh, by King Kawila. Um, and basically this temple is known for the fact that it is a mixture of the Burmese style of architecture along with the traditional uh, Thai style of architecture. So there's some wooden temples along with it, uh, along with the large white base and the stone. Guys, I'm telling you, I did not plan on coming here. I don't have all the equipment I wanted to, but I was just walking by this and the beauty of it is, is honestly, it's breathtaking. So I thought I would show you guys a little bit of this and hopefully you can get a feel for just the scale. I didn't intend on on participating in the ritual that I was filming, but the, the man, when he saw that I had taken interest in what he was doing and the offering that he was making, um, he invited me to do it to do it along with him and he showed me what to do. And you take two cups of water and you put it into a trolley and then it dumps it up on the top of the temple. And uh, the most humbling aspect about it just was how casual and how willing he was to share with me. And that's really kind of the beauty of coming here is how eager Thai people are to, to share with you instead of being closed off. So I'm currently in Photobug, which is the number one camera shop in all of Chiang Mai. If you're a photographer or a digital imager and you're in Chiang Mai, which it's a possibility, um, this camera shop is the place to go. It's Photobug, it's right around the old city. I'm going to show you guys around. That was great. Absolutely love, just love camera shops and love seeing camera shops across the world.